Point Nemo. Hopefully, it all ends here, once and for all. Is it me, or does this place seem off somehow? And for some reason, that huge, not-quite-full moon up there is particularly bothersome. Gibbous. What? Gibbous. Almost, but not quite fully revealed. It's what you call that kind of moon. Whatever you say, Madam Scientist. Let's just... Whoa! What? What is this? I don't know, but you look repulsive. What is this? What have I turned into? You sort of look like discarded deli meat slapped together. No, what? This is not me. You just got transformed, against your will, into something you despise. Sucks, huh? I'm an abomination, kitty. But I didn't even do anything. Oh, God. Oh, no. Do you think this is permanent? Apparently not. Oh! Oh, what now? What do I look like now? Um, basic? Blocky? Everything is squares! I'm squares! Ah! Whoa. Yeah, I kind of prefer the previous look, to be honest. What fresh hell? What even am I? Some kind of... Um... Uh, you're like, um... Uh... I give up. I feel a panic attack coming. This place is really doing a number on you. Wait! I'm back! Oh, praise the infinite universe, I am back! That was scary as... I hate to be the ever-cynical one, but I have a bad feeling. I think it's... What? Yep, it's cyclical. No, no, no! The bad news is, you seem to keep transforming. The good news, it's only happening to you. What can we do, Kid A? Suck it up and press on, Kerwin. <sighs> You're right. Let's keep going. Huh! Made it through. Come on, Kid A. Whoa! What the heck did you do, Kerwin? It worked! The Necronomicon actually worked on you! Did you think I wasn't going through enough already? Look at me! I know, I know, but this might be helpful. Uh... I hate you, Buzz. Good to know you stay the same, regardless of definition. Oh no. This is insulting. I don't know. You actually look kind of cute. Shut up, you monster. Something's stopping me from pet. Well, at least you...
So at least we're putting this insanity to use somehow. Just keep going, please. It's like a... like this stone thing with holes in it. It's called a steel. How do you know these things? Hey, can you try and see if that thing activates? Impulsive, but pretty darn useful. Oh, what the heck is this now? Doesn't seem to do anything. I think we'll have to work together on this one, Kid A. All right, I trust you. I'm officially in full collab mode. What? Oh, I think I got it. I still don't. It's the state. It's your, um...
Another magic circle. It's on top of an organic looking... Are you dead? Are you alive in there? Still kicking, Schrodinger. Oh god! Are you okay? Can you breathe? What do we do? Yeah, I can breathe alright. There are mechanisms inside this thing. Well, that's good to hear, because I see nothing on my end here. We can't let this slow us down, Buzz. Try and figure out your way forward while I work on this. On it. These are the final words of Captain Johansson of the Alert. I don't have any kind of recording device. I only hope this ungodly place with all its strained magic will somehow retain my last utterances. Whoever you are, if you can hear this, know that this wretched place you've made your way to must be wiped off the face of the earth. That is what me and my shipmates on the Alert came here to do. Once we deciphered the sign, we left Oslo for Point Nemo with a ship full of explosives and fuses hell-bent on destroying this island where the evil book is at its most powerful. I won't waste my breath on my exploits concerning the Necronomicon. If you are here, you must be aware of the generations it has tricked into playing its awful roles and then led here to be made to disappear. When we embarked on this journey, we knew full well of the dozens that have failed before us. However, we have accomplished more than any of them. This horrible island is surrounded by active underwater volcanoes, and I can only hope that we've managed to rig them all to explode to trigger their eruption. We have started with the detonator on the highest mountain peak and worked our way down. It did not come without sacrifices. The crew was driven crazy by the monstrosity of what they kept transforming into. By the time we were setting charges underwater, myself and first mate Green were the only sane men left. That's when we saw it. My god, we had found more than we had bargained for. The thing that should not be. We were driven mad with fear. I fled in terror, and somehow clawed my way into this hall. I am probably on the side of the island we had not explored and I see no way out of this hall where my bones will find their final resting place. I can only hope that Green set all the fuses before he lost his mind. Or his life. If someone ever hears this, the detonator on the highest peak, bury this place and the horror that slumbers beneath.
I've rearranged it. Nothing changed. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Kitty, can you hear me? I've opened this door. We can keep going now. You can keep going. This contraption is way more complicated than I had anticipated. Go on ahead without me, Buzz. What do you mean? I can't just leave you behind trapped like this. Didn't you hear that ghost thing? All the volcanoes around here are rigged to blow up. Just go, Buzz. Find the butcher. Dawn in peace might need you. I'll be okay. I'll try to make my way out of this trap. Kitty, I can't. Just go already. And be careful. Numbskull. Kitty? I love you. Get the f out of here, Kerwin! Whoa, I did not expect this here. What in heaven's name is this place? How can all this be here? It's a book about ancient folk tales. It's open at Transylvania, Romania. Huh. This page describes the Muara and Azor myth. Weird. Looks like there used to be pictures in these, but they're gone. This is straight up bizarre. There are framed pictures of some objects I've come across ever since this whole adventure began, like the exploding package and Priscilla's doll, but also of others that I don't recognize. This looks just like Olmstein's sign, except there's a crazy amount of lines connecting tens and tens of dots all over the place. Whoa, the title of the book is A Storm Over Fishmouth. What? Should I look deeper into this? While on an antiquarian tour of an isolated fishing village called Fishmouth, a man called Robert Olmstein has an unexpected revelation. Olmstein? Robert Olmstein? What does this mean? Let's see what this page says. It had all started with the strange fishiness of the local populace, but now it was clear. There was more, so much more to this. It was as if whispers of dark ancient legends, revelations of unfathomable ancestry, madcap globetrotting adventures, and the ever-present threat of slumbering horror were all coming together into one blood-red line under the watchful eye of the Necronomicon. Holy hardcover hermetical history, I've stumbled onto something big! I'll just keep reading, I guess. These stories are too dark and beautiful not to come to life, uttered Olmstein with an enigmatic smile. Even the one ending with this world's complete destruction? There is no story if there is nothing at stake, came Olmstein's answer. The roles are set, the actors will come and go, and we will be here, watching. And controlling it? Sometimes, when the time is right. Why not make it always? Always? Where is the fun in that? And he let go of the book, watching it drop in slow motion into the crowd below. The end. It's the Earth, with a moon on a rotating arm attached to it. Wait a minute, what the... I'm leaving everything as it is. This book is called The Case of Basil Dexter Kerwin. Basil Kerwin, a bookish nobody counting the days away behind his office desk, unveils a century-spanning relationship between himself and a wizard named Corvinus, and tries to avoid slowly transforming into something he detests. The pages are all crossed out and scratched over, it's hard to make out anything more. Do I really want to go already? I haven't looked at everything in here and... Cor... Corvinus... 
Oh no, I'm starting to feel faint. I'm out of here. Dawn and Peace need me. Goodbye, strange room. Like a moth to the flame, you finally made it! The carrier. Right on time. Buzz, turn around! Run! No, no, no. That is where you are wrong, little zealous fly. It is not him carrying the book. It was always the book carrying him here. Nonsense! We were always right on your tail, butcher. Oh, because you chose to, right? Adorable. But enough about that. Hand over the book, carrier. Or what? Or I constrict those electricity fields and zap your friends just like the bugs that they are. Not until you tell me what you want it for. Oh, come on. What difference does it make to you? This will all play out as it must, regardless. Let us stop wasting time. I can just read a spell and end you! We both know it does not work that way. You're lying, cause you're desperate. Go ahead then. Use the Necronomicon to end me. Marja si fornias campa! I wish the Butcher gone! That was embarrassing. Do I have to spell everything out for you? It worked once, because it was written that it would. You had no say in this. The book chose the role, and now it returns to me for its final performance. You're insane! Bob Olmstein, or whatever he's calling himself, we are all just actors in his little production. Until you hand the Necronomicon over, that is. I am not anyone's spawn, Butcher. You have not caught on yet? Tough. I have no time to lay it out for you dimwits. Book. Now. You owe us an explanation. I owe you nothing. But it really is simple, little fly. You are all prisoners in Olmstein's web of fiction while I will claw my way out of it. So what's the book for? A fine seeker you turned out to be. It is the magic wand in the Illusionist's toolkit. This thing called Olmstein likes his stories. He simply set loose the magic wand into our boring world and watched it turn myth into reality. So many possible storylines he planted seeds for. The Carrier, the Seeker, the Protector, the Beast. Same roles, different actors. So much more fun when you defy all laws of nature and existence. Give me the book! I'll never give you the book. Then watch your friends here die. No, wait! You cannot stop me from reaching it. The crowning achievement of my life's work with flesh and blood and metal. Breathing life into one of Olmstein's favorite characters. The half kufa The meal those esoteric order idiots thought they'd sacrifice to Dagon? It goes by a much simpler name. Ya Cthulhu! He who dreams at the bottom of the sea, awaiting his awakening. The perfect triangle. The huge pair of wings you dug up in foreign Maris. The first angle. Wings of the dragon. The oversized kraken you raised in Fishmouth. The second angle. Head of the kraken. You. The third angle. Iron will of man. You're just mind controlling some poor Frankenstein creature, you psycho. Part man, part kraken, part dragon. Made one by the Necronomicon. And now, the moon is right. So Olmstein is an... Uh... Impress me. What is Olmstein? 
a god. He must be a god. We are all messing with things that we don't understand. <laughs> Speak for yourself, little fly. I have really had enough talk now. Last warning before they die. Okay, okay. Here. Welcome back, old friend. So now what? You'll just become... C Cthulhu! Devourer of souls! An end to this wretched joke of a world! Destroy the world, that's it? You either haven't thought this through or you're just bad crap nuts. Negotiating terms, little fly. Yes, they're in control right now, up there in the moon. But once I stamp this world out, when just me and them are the ones left standing... What? What happens? Appreciation for a mortal that became a god. For the pawn that broke the rules and checkmated the king. I have created life before. And I will destroy and then repopulate this world the way I see fit. Omsin will never allow it. Start over from scratch, with an invincible god of death ruling over darkness? Breeding my own ruthless kind, stamping out the weak. Nothing but chaos for years and years to come? That is not his kind of story. Him and his kind will just abandon this wretched earth. Move on to the next toy and leave this one to me. Time to become Cthulhu. Kitty! Shh, shut up, dummy. How do I stop those force fields? Forget those. All the underground volcanoes around this peak are rigged to explode. The detonators got to be around here somewhere. Look for that. Blow up volcanoes, awaken beast from mind control. Got it. On it. That's it. That's the detonator. Shut up. What? No! No! The... The detonator! That's it. There's the detonator. Kidda, right below you. All right. Let's hope it makes a big enough splash. Not so fast, you verbose vermin. Unless you want to fry, you are not touching that detonator. No, no, no! Feel that energy crackling in the air? I've reached the final three phases of the incantation! World, prepare to meet Cthulhu! We gotta do something! Yeah, yeah! Cthulhu Fatigan! Damn it! Damn it! Ah! Go come and nyan! Yore bitkasiyaha! Omsing, where are you? Taranak shog! Taranak siya! Yeah! Go back the way you came, kitty. It's the only way out. I've failed you. I've dragged you along all over the place and achieved nothing. I ruined your life. I couldn't change you back. I lost the Necronomicon, and now this lunatic might turn into a god of death and destruction. You're innocent. Just run. Run as fast as you can. Now, Buzz, it isn't easy to admit this, but I've discovered some surprising things about myself since this all started. Run away? Sorry, but that's not my style. Time for... Well, no time left. Bye.
riddle, Twitter. Your sacrifice was for naught. It has not awakened. It has not! soulless beast she wanted us to think she was. We're all gonna miss her, buddy. It's as if time stood still for her. Roll! 